what's going on <clears throat> today we're going to be doing a uh, mock scenario based training with Rio and as you saw we started Rio out here we started him on the post at first and then we started getting him going with doing bite development and chasing prey drive defensive drive now we're going to be entering phase two where we're going to be doing a lot of um, home invasions carjackings and those sort of things for protection work and we got the dog started up with the blinks and the fireworks and everything out here so that they will be ready for that when they encounter that in scenario based training so that's what we're doing right here we're going to be heading out we're going to be working it's going to be me and chris we're going to be working with rio at his place of residence of doing some home invasions um <clears throat> and just doing real life scenarios for protection work so that he's ready in the real world just like he is when he's doing in training and it's all about just practicing your dog. If they've never seen the situation before, some dogs react differently. Uh, I, I expect Rio to be on the defensive side of this, uh, more in the defensive stand to, to, to protect his owners and property versus being on an offensive and going after the decoy a lot. So and you pretty much want that with a defensive dog when you have them in the house. You want them nearby defending the home. You don't want them running out in the woods. So that's what we're doing today we're going to do this home invasion and then we'll do a bunch of mock scenarios with that along while we're out here but this is how we enter phase two you won't actually see a lot of this when you do with other trainers because i guess they don't move into that kind of area but we do do the different levels we train the dogs we prep them and then we put them in scenario based training and that's what you're seeing in this phase two with rio so you guys think Take one. 